Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to another script tutorial. Today we'll make a sidebar or a scoreboard or whatever you want to call it. As the one you can see on the right of my screen. I'm actually on my server right now. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support of my new server. I opened this server as a 2000 subscriber special. If you haven't watched that video, make sure to click the eye in the corner. I highly appreciate it. Anyway, let's get into the tutorial. I do also want to point out that in order for this to work, you have to download Download the script add-on called SK Rayfall. That is very important. A link to this add-on will be in the description. This will not work without it. Okay. Anyway, let's uh, let's get into it. All right. So we're gonna hop into our program of choice. When you're writing your own scripts, you can pretty much use whatever coding program that you want. You can also just use your Node or Word even, probably that will work too. Or you can just write your script inside the file on Minehut. But I tend to use Atom. I, it doesn't really matter. This, that's just what I'm using. Link to this code writing program will be in the description. Anyway, let's get started. I like to first define a prefix. So we're going to write options and underneath we're going to write server and then whatever you want your prefix to be. So in this case we can just do in red and maybe bold and then my server I guess. So now we can use this whenever we want a message or something to display. Anyway, now let's do the actual sidebar. So I'm doing every one second. We're going to loop all players. And then I'm just going to add a little thing in here. If you guys want your sidebar to say how many players is actually online, I'm just going to add this little thing set. And then I'm going to define a variable, which is just going to be online. If you're wondering what this little underscore in front of the name means, that basically makes this variable a local variable. Pretty useful if you don't want to use a variable for uh, longer than a little bit and you don't want to save it, whatever. Um, yeah, but we are going to set that variable to number of all players. Pretty easy, huh? So now this variable is how many players are online. So we can use that later. Anyway, the next thing is we're going to wipe loop players sidebar. So we're just going to reset the sidebar every second. And then we're going to start defining the looks of the sidebar. So I'm going to set the name of sidebar of loop player to our prefix up here. So I'm just going to write some curly brackets, add, and then server, which is what we defined up here. So now this will just be called my server. Oh, I just realized it should be an M instead of an N. <laughs> okay. So now the name will be my server. And we're going to start defining the scores. So the scores are pretty much the lines that are used on the sidebar, as you can see here. And um, we're going to set the first one to some kind of frame. Um, we can do that in gray. And then a little trick that if you put it at M, then it will make it strike through. So if we put a lot of lines like this, then it'll pretty much be, I mean, it'll kind of look like a connected line because it'll make it strike through whatever. Um, and we're just going to set it in sidebar of loop player to six. All right. I hope you can follow along anyway. So, um, now we have set the first line. I know that I have six lines I, I want to define. Um, so I just set the score to six, which will make it the top line of our scoreboard. So that the highest number is the top and the lowest is the bottom. Uh, I'm going to do another one, set score. And then I want to make some spaces here just to make it look a little bit nicer. Um, I want it to be within our frame here or whatever. 
And then we can do something like red bold player. And then we can just show the player's name. So we're just going to put loop player. Oh. And this will just define the play. It would just be the player's name right here. That's a cool thing you can do. And don't forget in sidebar of loop player at the end Whoop. and then to five of course so it's going to be underneath the other line we're going to define another one and in this one i'm just not going to type anything within the quotation marks because i want there to just be a space here with nothing in it so it looks a bit nicer of loop player Two, four, of course. So that the next thing I'm going to write is going to be a bit separated from the player's name here. And we're going to make another one. A few spaces again, because I just want it to look that way. The way you want to go about this is pretty much just to experiment with it. Write whatever you think looks cool, then put it into your script and see it in game and then change it. There's really no better way to do it. you got to try it over and over and see what you think looks best now i'm gonna use the online players and i'm just gonna write online players so we know what we're talking about and then i'm gonna use our variable from up here i'm actually gonna copy it and paste it down here within two percentage tags and inside bar of loop player two three we're gonna set another score and this one is gonna be the closing frame of these so I'm just gonna copy the same thing and here's where we'll have a little problem because the way that the basic mechanics of a scoreboard works is that it thinks that all of these here all of what we put within our quotation marks are actually players that have a score of something so that means that i can't have two of the same thing because there doesn't exist two of the same players with the same player name so i actually have to change this a little bit i'm just going to remove one of these and put a space instead uh, you won't really see the difference but it's a it's a little annoying thing anyway inside bar of loop player i've said this so many times now two and the last one is i want to use the last one to put the server's ip i'm gonna make a lot of spaces here actually i, I don't know we'll see how it looks in game but on this one i'm gonna make three spaces let's make that gray as well and then you can just write whatever ip you have of your server i'm just gonna put my server this is not the ip of my actual server but that's just the placeholder I'm going to do. And of course, I'm on Minehut, so Minehut.gg, whatever. Um, and the usual thing, sidebar of loop player. Two, one. And there you have it. That's pretty much it. If you want to add new lines to your scoreboard, then make sure to change the number. So, for example, if I want to add another line here, I'm going to make this line number six and this one seven instead. But... I feel like this is fine. Uh, so we're just going to save that. And we're going to copy that. We're going to go into Minehut. Go to File Manager. Plugins. And Script. Scripts. And we're going to add a new file. I'll just call that sidebar.sk. And there it is. And we'll just paste our code in here and save it. And now I have just joined the server and let's just reload the script real quick. You just do SK reload, whatever script you want to reload, of course. I named mine sidebar. And there we go. A sidebar appeared on the right of my screen and everything looks as we wanted it. That's amazing. So yeah, that was pretty much it for today's tutorial. 
I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any further questions or problems with this, make sure to join my Discord server, link in the description, and ask away there. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to slap that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. It means the world to me. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. See you guys later. Bye.